What's up, Film Jammers? This week, we're taking a look at how to create an iconic shot in a lot of films. Michael Bay loves this. Pretty much every Die Hard movie has this shot. And now we're gonna show you how to make the explosion in slow motion behind you on a green screen. Film Have you ever wanted to be an action hero walking away from an explosion in slow motion while dramatically looking into the distance? Then this video's for you. Just like that. Today we're gonna to show you how to set up a green screen and get some stock footage to create your very own dramatic slow-mo explosion. All right, we have our model, Jillian. We might remember her from the episode on creating light beams. She's back, she's ready for action in 2020. She's getting some pigtails put in her hair. This is Brianna's creation. I'm not sure what she had in mind, but something's happening over there. Brianna, anything you wanna add about the makeup and the look here you're going for? I'm just trying to make her look as badass as possible. Badass is the word of the day. Can you spell it backwards? It's sad bad. All right, so how long we got here? How much time we got? Probably uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Hurry it up. Rush perfection, yeah. Okay. Can you tell me about your character, Jillian? I was told to look like a hit woman, mm -hmm. and I think we're doing pretty well with that. Okay, so Jillian's getting into makeup and costume in here. Brianna's doing some makeup on her. We're gonna go back in the studio. We're gonna check all the settings on the camera and make sure we're set when they get on set. That's two sets. Let's go. Okay, so Kelly, you're doing the VFX part of this project. What was your inspiration? Die hard. What kind of tips for people that are trying to do something like this? And just make sure you got great lighting. See here, light up all sides of the green screen, uh, get your track points, the more the merrier. So I think we're good to go. Okay, so we have the green screen here lit up. We've got two Ari Sky panels. We tried out the light panels Gemini's, but the trigger just wasn't as easy to use as the sky panels. Sky panels actually have an explosion mode, which works really well for what we're trying to do. So what the explosion setting does is it gives you a big blast of light and then it slowly fades over time, which is called the DK. So when our talent's walking through the green screen here, we're gonna time the explosion so it goes right in line with the visual effect we're gonna put in there. And that adds a practical realism to the shot. Instead of just keying an explosion behind her, using these practical lighting effects adds a lot more to the organic feel of the shot. We've got tracking markers on the green screen back there so that when the camera's moving, we'll be able to track those in post. Lighting up the green screen, we have two eight-foot quasar cross fades, they're set to daylight. And then we've got two four foot kinos lighting our talent. And then when the talent walks by the camera, we also have a one by one light panel Astra that's gonna light them up and just give them a little bit of extra light as they walk through these lights. So they're not completely dark at the end. We're shooting on the Ari Alexa Mini. What we're gonna do is shoot it in 2K. That lets us go up to 200 frames per second. So we're recording in ProRes 4444XQ. It's a very high quality format and it's gonna give us a lot of range when we're doing all that green screen keying. It really makes a big difference for hair and fine tuning adjustments on your key. So shoot in the highest quality format you can. So our first take here we have set for 140 frames per second, so that's pretty slow. Now we're gonna go in here and make sure our shutter speed is set to 180. That's really important, you don't wanna get that flicker or that kind of stuttery look. So make sure you set your shutter speed to 180. And we've got our new Ingenue 30 to 80 DP zoom lens on there. It's a really nice lens, I'm really sharp, I'm really excited to shoot on it. It's one of the first things we've shot on it. So I'm pretty excited to try it out and put an explosion back there behind our model. So we have Jillian here, our model. She's gonna look like a total badass. And then we've got Kelly and Brianna triggering the sky panels to do the explosion lighting. All right guys, you ready to trigger it up? Three, two, one, action. Nice. I love explosions. We've got the camera set up here. We're about to go for a take and here we go.
So what we did there was we created a plate shot and then Kelly added in some Action Essentials fire effects. We put about five different fireballs from the Action Essentials pack in there to create different explosions in the background. And then we color graded the plate shot to Jillian's green screen shot. And then we added some warmer layers of correction as well so that it all blended together. And then we also had some particles in there as well to just add a little more realism to the explosion. Another little interesting note, our dynamite didn't quite land in the spot where we wanted it to. So Kelly cut out the dynamite and then animated it down right to where we wanted it to land and start the explosion. And it's 1 a.m. What do you have to say about that, Kelly? All in a day's work, baby. Come on now. How'd you feel about the uh, the shoot today? I think it was probably my favorite one yet. For real. Well, that's great to hear. I'm glad you're able to come out again and join us. Yeah. That's some of the footage happening right behind us. Mm -hmm. This is like Film Jam's inception. Exactly. We're in the, we're inside the episode while the episode is being edited. <sighs> Don't give it away, Brianna. All right, I need a I need an ice pop break here. All right, Jillian, so give some tips for people going out there trying this for the first time. Well, you definitely have to be in the right place at the right time and know your counts, which is exactly what I tried to do. You did pretty good. I think doing these VFX shots, it's all about the timing. And that's one thing that we all tried to, you know, you have a lot of people coordinating a lot of different things. Two people queuing the lights. You've got a cue that you're throwing the dynamite and then you've got a cue for the camera and the focus too. So there's a lot of moving parts and that's something that you just gotta keep in mind when you're doing these to rehearse it as many times as you can. Pew, pew, pew. Rehearsal is another key important part. Leave yourself some time for rehearsal because the more times you can practice all those cues and all those little parts, the moving parts, the better your effect is gonna turn out. All right, give me another green screen tip, Jillian. So when working with a green screen and visual effects, it's also important to know that it's easier to work with if your hair is not flowing all over the screen because when you're editing, you have to edit out each individual strand. Hence the hairdo. Thanks, Brianna. She worked that hair. One of the keys to doing this is setting up a light that's gonna act as your explosion flash. And another important element is either shooting a plate shot for your video to have the explosion happen in, or find some stock footage that matches. If you can also practically have some debris flying through the air, that's another thing that'll add some realism to the shot. All right, film jammers, I hope this tutorial was helpful on how to create a dramatic slow motion explosion shot for your films. Creating VFX shots like this are a lot of fun and making them realistic is really the trick, but you can add a really dynamic element to your movie if you do it right. And of course, course, if you have the practical effects to create an actual explosion behind you, that's definitely the way to go. But this is a quick way you can do it fairly inexpensively as long as you have access to a green screen. If you found our tutorial helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday.